Hey, what's up, boys? I've got a bit of a strat for you today that might help you when it comes to your Tarkov money runs. Now, what if I told you that I had a legitimate method for doubling the size of the biggest bags in Tarkov? I like to call it the double BJ strat. I am of course referring to the blackjack backpack that you can unlock the barter for at max level ragman. But this strat can also be done using the raid backpack via a much cheaper barter at max level propor. So the idea here is to double the size of the backpack storage. Right now the blackjack has 42 squares and we want to get that to 84. You can do this with the help of two specific rigs in the game. One of them being the MPPV and the other being the LBCR. You take two of both and put them into the bag. The reason that you pick these two rigs is that the MPPV takes up 12 squares when it's in the bag but can store 24 squares of loot within itself, while the LBCR takes up 9 squares but can hold 18 squares of loot. Do you see what's happening yet? Using all four of these rigs we have managed to double the size of the blackjack from 42 to 84. The exact same thing can be done with the raid backpack, only difference that you have is an extra line of squares added. But before you lose it with excitement at the thought of cleaning up an entire third of the map just to yourself, there's a pretty big price tag to this strat, as well as a trade level restriction. A blackjack requires you to have max level ragman, all of this together for the blackjack bar to you looking at 252,000 rubles. So all in all for the bag and the four rigs you're looking at 422,000 rubles. Now there is a much better option if you have this available to you, uh, you're going to want to do the raid backpack barter via max level purport. Adding in the previous calculations with the four rigs, um, the raid backpack and the four rigs are only going to set you back 290,000 rubles. There's a couple of other things you're going to need to pull this off though for your armor i would suggest the tv 110 rig reason for this is it has a couple of three by one slots for those tricky items that you can't place anywhere else night vision any will do but obviously you want the best you can get this strap works best at night time as you are going to want to keep as far away from other pmcs as physically possible on top of that you're going to want a weapon with an ir laser for the same reason as the night vision i'll be doing this with the mid-range m4 barter from mechanic finally i would suggest bringing a longer mule and an sj6 but you can do this without them you just might find yourself crawling your way out of raid now for the map choice there's only two that i can recommend for this first up is woods nighttime clearing up the outskirts of the map before extracting out of the vehicle extract if somebody takes it though you might be in raid for a while while you try and locate another exit second is nighttime reserve targeting the underground supply warehouse to loot the four cages as quick as possible before extracting via the dome the key to this strat in my opinion is to loot everything with no discrimination into the supposed value of the items the sooner you're full the sooner you can get out no look i'm serious loot everything final warning here this is not a strat for low level players or the financially ruined you will incur a big loss to your funds if you die it's basically the gambler's loot run if i'm honest with all that being said though, I'm now going to show you examples of both maps and the value of everything we managed to loot. <sighs> Doesn't matter how many times I do this, this is such a, it's such a monetary loss if we die, okay? Right, so where are we? We are, why can't I work this out? Oh wow, okay, yeah, this is a hot spot. Not a great spawn for what we want to do here. But... The plan stays the same. We loot everything as quick as we can. Uh, I need to use my mule and SJ6. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, in this situation, what we would do is actually throw one of these away. Uh, I'm going to put the TV rig down here. Put this up here. All right. We're just approaching the um, outskirts of the map now. So get on the electrical pylons and move up to you, set camp. Obviously, if you're coming up to here... Do take some time to just have a look. Can't hear or see anything, so I'm going to crack on. I've just heard someone. I think I just heard somebody run away. I heard a scuffle on the right. And then I've just heard footsteps get lighter and lighter. Um, so whether that guy plans on flanking us or not. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're getting rid of the second one now. I'll be honest, he didn't leave much. Um, but yeah, we're going to head east now hard. All the way to the vehicle extract village. I wonder what that was I just saw. That is... 
Yeah, that's another player. Interesting. All right. Again, I'm showing high amount of restraint by not shooting him. But I'm trying to demonstrate good play here. So we're close now to the vehicle extract. So we've got those two done. Um, so we need to fill up these two rigs and ideally this rig up here. All right, just before we hit the village, there is the uh, secret stash here over by this bush. All right, I could hear scavs, so that's a good sign. We're looking good. I think we're the first here. Okay, that's all four rigs done. Just a few more items up here and we are out. What I like about looting woods as well, it's by far the best place to loot if you haven't got any keys. Because just the amount of uh, decent items like sugar, moonshine, uh, gold chains while looting these buildings, it's, it's so good. Okay. Now we just wait the minute. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. We're out. Amazing. Uh, we didn't quite fill the top rig, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. We uh, we did well in that raid. Okay, so here's the value. All right, so this is every single item that we just looted from that woods run. All right, next we're going to go over to Reserve Nighttime to do the four uh, cages underneath the Hermatic Door exit. Remember, though, on Reserve, we're going to need our Red Rebel um, Extract Melee Weapon to get out via the dome. We're going to need the Paracord for the same reason. And then we're going to need a Reserve Key Set that has at least these four keys to, lo uh, to loot the cages under Hermatic. So when it comes to reserve, you're much more likely to get into actual PvP. Uh, you're, you could easily be shot out of nowhere while looting the hermetic cages. All right, so we're really hoping on a good spawn here. Um, no. Okay, well, not the worst, not the best. Make my way quickly this way towards hermetic. Right, so the last thing is finding out if somebody's um, already gone down before me. So this is the problem when we're looting. We could easily have somebody doing exactly what we're doing right now. Just waiting to get the drop on somebody already looting the cages. Right, I think we're good. I can hear scabs. That's always a good sign. Right, okay, I'm going to uh, go as quick as I can now. We're going to knock all four of these cages out and see where we are uh, when we're finished. Uh, car battery, that's no good, late wait. Okay, just a scab. This is where a bit of RNG comes into it, really. We are hoping for high-value items, but whatever we get, we get. Right, it seems like we're getting a bit of a wave of scavs. All right, that's one rig done. Okay. All right, two rigs done. It's about now that you start to get that horrible feeling that somebody is very slowly crawling up on you, ready for the one tap. Uh, can we take the fuel? Um, it's a bit risky. Might lose painkiller, might lose CMS, might lose paracord if we die, but we'll risk it. Three, still got a bit, four, still got a bit, and we've still got here. So I'm going to go upstairs. There's a couple of hidden um, containers we can jump over to loot. Uh, we're going to be sprinting. Start, stop, start, stop. Regaining stamina. Start, stop, start, stop. All the way to dome. So I'll show you my route. You can go through all the way around the... I'm not gonna lie, that scared the out of me, but let's uh, let's carry on. All right, you might need to throw your bag on the floor for this. All right, so jump up here, jump over, jump again. Okay. Jump up, sprint, jump again. Oh, come on, you got this. Let me get stamina back. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, technical supply crate. Right, okay, so we're done here, and we're going to start moving towards Dome. So at this point, it would be a great time to use your Mule or SJ6, um, but I was stupid enough to not bring mine. Uh, we're sort of surrounded by scabs. Just give me a sec. Right in this middle line of the train station, we have this, another technical box. The next uh, sprint I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get into this building here. I'll jump over, straight in the building, maybe even shut the door. All right, so all four rigs done. We can pick up a couple more things. Oh my God. You have to do that, Scav. So this is gonna be our next full sprint. Go, go, go. 
Oh no! Okay, we're almost home, sweet home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Next sprint, all the way into here. This is where we're gonna have our next rest. Alright, we're ready. Go, go, go! So next we're aiming for the um, the uh, brick tower there. Little city scab right in front of us. Yeah. Oh, get dropped, mate. Right, okay, so this uh, there's a filing cabinet in here. And this is where I'm going to bolster up any loot, uh, any space that we still have left. Right, so this is going to be the most nerve-wracking part of this. Getting up on the dome. I am going to run this a little bit, but I am going to go to a walk. Just in case there's somebody camped out at the dome. Now, if you're feeling ballsy, we've got a couple more spaces. There's a good chance, because it's night time, that nobody's looted the safes up here, so somebody has been here. But if you had the, uh, if you had the key, we could have looted this one. Mm. Woo! Nice! Alright, so here's your reserve loot pool. That was everything we just looted. And the final value on that one was... That's it boys, that's all I wanted to show you. Just a little tip that some of the uh, high level players like to do. Um, it's certainly something I like to do, specifically on Woods though. Reserve can be a bit uh, a bit much, but on Woods there's, there's nothing really stopping you chain running this. Um, you, I get quite a lot of loot out, quite a lot of value, and yeah, just thought I'd show you guys. Just want to say a quick thank you to everybody engaging with the channel. The traction um, on our YouTube is going crazy at the moment. I really appreciate all the likes and comments and kind words from you guys. So yeah, see you in the next one.